you this morning is Brigadier General Van Cooch, the commander of the U.S. Army Europe Regional Medical Command. So first of all, General, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by. It's uh, very nice to meet you. Nice to see you this morning. How are you doing? Oh, thanks, Eli. Thanks for the invitation. It's great. It's a rainy day out there, but you know, any day above ground is a good day. Very true. Very true. I like that. Uh, so we are talking about, uh, obviously, you are the commander of the Europe Regional Medical Command. ERMC is uh, how most people know that, but we use a lot of acronyms in the military, obviously, ERMC being one of them, but what does that mean? What is the Europe Regional Medical Command? What does that cover? Well, in, in, we're, we're the basic provider of clinical health care, uh, primarily for the Army, but really for all of, all of Europe. You know, um, ERMC has been around in some shape or form since the end of World War II. At, at one time, we had 10 hospitals and about 70 different medical clinics. Uh, throughout Europe and now we're much smaller of course we have uh, one major medicine at uh, Landstuhl and about 14 clinics divided over uh, three different countries so we're in Belgium we're in Germany and we're also in Italy we've got responsibility for Task Force Med Falcon down in uh, Kosovo and also the clinics in Qatar and uh, Kuwait as well so it's a very wide footprint, uh, basically, is what I'm picking up here. A lot of work on your part, um, you know, and a lot of work on a lot of people's uh, part here in the area, especially. But one of the things that you had mentioned, there's a couple different places across here in Europe. So it seems like that ERMC's always kind of supported the, the coalition and some partners here in Europe. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that works? Yeah, well, you know, first of all, we've got a couple of clinics that are in Belgium, the SHAPE Clinic, primarily, and the, and the headquarters clinic at, at uh, Fernado. In, in Mons and in Brussels. So we've been there for a number of years. We provide direct care to the to the leadership of NATO. Um, Landstuhl as a hub for our evac chain has always provided care to coalition casualties coming out of Iraq and Afghanistan um, as well, whether we get them back to CONUS or back to their home country. So we've provided that, that direct care. And now from medical diplomacy, we have a lot of courses that we partner with the Germans here, host nations, uh, uh, soldiers with, the, with Italy, um, and also really healthcare providers from all over Europe. And speaking of one of those partnerships here in Germany, there's an exciting new project going on uh, with ERMC, you know, at the lead here. And that's the new hospital that's being built right here in our KMC area. So can you tell me a little bit more about the plans, uh, how that's going to work, how that's going to integrate into uh, the Kaiserslautern military community and what your hopes are for it? Well, th this is something that's really great. I mean, we had the groundbreaking last month. And so this is the Rhine Ordnance Barracks Clinic, so, or hospital. So it's going to be built on Rhine Ordnance Barracks directly next to, to Ramstein. It's a combination Army Air Force. It's going to be the replacement for Landstuhl, but also for the 86th um, Med Group's uh, uh, clinic as well. Um, 2022 is when it's going to be ready. Great partnership between our host nation. The Germans have actually invested 140 million euro of their own dollars into this, and they're going to do 80% of the design of this. So you can't ask for a better partnership with this and better hope for the future. Absolutely. And it does take that type of partnership, um, like you were saying, that works so well to make these big projects uh, happen. And, you know, it, it's, it's incredible being here in Europe as a U.S. service member, and it's, it's very, they're very gracious as a host uh, nation to us. And even along the lines of these big projects that you're talking about uh, with the new hospital, it's amazing to see how well we are able to work together. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Ermsi, you do a lot of things. You cover a lot of things. Uh, some of those obviously relate directly back to us uh, in our daily lives, such as flu season. And uh, so if you don't mind, sir, that's what I would like to talk about next. Uh, in just a couple of minutes, I'll continue the conversation with Brigadier General Van Koops, the